Hello everyone and chickies. People don't like me calling saying that, but uh, I will continue to say it. Um, so we're going over <laughs> the Benny Merchantman and sort of like how we've been going through this whole beginner ship thing and people wanting to get to Pyro. I know there's just... People don't think this is a good idea, but people are going to try and get to Pyro and get around Pyro regardless of what anyone says. And it's just, it's just life. Everyone does it. So... I want to throw something out there that may sort of change the way people think and the way we look at the Banu Merchantman. We know a lot of people are thinking about doing this, but it's just a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of an argument and just something to look at. So we know the inside of the Banu Merchantman's uh, cargo hold is rather large and this is the interior, the inside of it with the containers stacked on each other. So having 2880 SCU of cargo, what else can you put in here? No one really sort of, I don't think anyone thinks about it as much or as such. But what if with these containers we could put uh, someone's ship in them if they were, you know, if they were big enough and the ship was small enough to fit in there or if we were to just start bringing ships in and land them and maybe even create some sort of a level so that people could stack ships in here. It's just something that I've been thinking about. So we know that this has a cargo ramp as such here. And it is quite large because it can fit from the looks for those containers across. And then you got a little tumble cyclone on there as well, just to show you some scale. So that sort of represents and shows us how large that, um, that lift actually is. You know, to me, seeing those sea container looking things and the tumble on there tells me it's going to be rather large and that there's still room on their left so you can see there's still room to the front room to the rear and maybe just maybe we could fit auroras in there and other smaller starter ships like the hundred eye and bring them inside of the ship now these containers being the size that they are possibly make it a little bit easier for us to scale and think about bringing little ships in there and sort of pushing them and sort of squeezing them in well not as such as like squeezing them in but just fitting more in here and i'm wondering if we can do something similar like what you see here with the sea containers but have some sort of a structure so that you can stack ships in and bring them in like you if you had a um if you've seen a car garage and they have the the lifts where they can put a car over another car just for like storage reasons save space and whatnot i'm wondering if we could do something like that it's probably not going to be something that we can do but it would be nice to think of something that we could do with that in that sort of aspect of speaking but again it creates a lot of discussion over this and i feel like if we can you know we get the merchant man and we can do this this will change a lot of things this will change a lot of the gameplay loops that we're going to be able to do a lot of the transport that we're going to be able to do with ships over to pyro and i'm wondering if that you know thinking about this it will get people more interested in what they can do with their banu merchantman or if they can make a little bit more money out of it when they go over to pyro from stanton or stanton to pyro in site so, so pyro to stanton as a transporter for new players now there's also more game loops as you date like dive into this you know you can create a company for security detail for a new player and help them out. And then as they do missions, you just take a cut of that mission, if that makes sense. I know a lot of new players aren't going to have a lot of UEC. A lot of players aren't going to have UEC, like a lot of it. But this can sort of create that differentiate between the two. And if you can help them get missions and do missions, then maybe you can build some form of a relationship with that player. But this is purely speculation as you know but again being the size that that lift is I don't see why you couldn't just fly a ship up up in there and this is what me and space Jesus talk about all the time this is something that um, is regularly discussed in you know could we do this and could we see this being something that we can do later on down the track now this as we know is a cutaway of the ship and you have three containers across so naturally you assume it's just another six well another three containers across right 
which is fairly accessible in here as well. We had the gap down the middle and we have been shown inside the Bounty Merchantman sort of cargo area so that they, they gave us an idea of what we could have expected and what we could expect um, of that cargo area. And the, like, the size of scale is absolutely insane of how large this area is really going to be. So take it into consideration if you have a Banu Merchantman and you want to make a little bit more UEC with it or a UEC, this is going to be the perfect opportunity. And I feel the hanger on this thing is going to be absolutely it's going to be massive. It's going to be an extra small hanger, but from the size and the look of it, you can probably fit something a little bit bigger in there. It definitely looks like you'll be able to fit a prospector in there. So maybe you could fit a little, like a bunch of starter ships in there or just a bunch of ships that are smaller or smaller fighters so that people you can take over to another system or you can take them around and then when you get attacked you can just open that hangar door and they come out like a little swarm which is just a fair idea that i have and i've just been sort of building on these ideas i know a lot of these may seem far-fetched but it just makes a little bit more sense to me if we could do this and we know that the banu merchantman is literally the size of an, like an idris p and idris m if you were to take the railgun off the front of it which in again is insane to think about so Going off of that, um, I hope that people sort of build on this idea. Let us know down in the comments and join our Discord uh, for a discussion over there about this. Because this is sort of the stuff that we talk about. I know um, a lot of the content that we do is a little bit um, contradictive and people, a lot of people don't like it. And that's fine. It's not for everyone. But again, it's just one of those things that gets people to think about the game. And that's what I want to do. I want to create stuff like this and show you what could be or something that we could do to get you thinking about what you may be able to do in the future of Star Citizen as, you know, more things come out and more ships release and there's more functionality and then people wanting to, like, use these ships more and get it, like, get more out of them. The only way you can do that is be a little bit more open-minded and watch more videos like this, I guess. I mean, this ship is going to be so large that I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do that. It's just, it makes for such good room to help new players with this. And it's even got the setup for it as well. So, as you know, the public could come up here and they can sort of stay in the guest rooms, go around in the conference room and not go through the markets without having to actually get access to the entire ship which is really fantastic so not only can you put their ship inside of the um the bottom of it or in the hangar they also have entrance where you know they won't really be able to cause any issues throughout the ship so if that makes sense let us know down in the comments what you think about this I'm really interested in to see how people are going to treat this and how the merchant man's going to get some fun, like use in this game. And again, this ship is going to be quite large. We don't know if it's going to be capital. I know a lot of people can make the assumption that it is going to be capital, but it's just one of those one of those caveats, I guess. But as you can see here, that's the hangar with a Banu Defender in it. We know the Banu Defender is not really that big, but again, it is quite a large vessel. So hopefully we can fit smaller ones in there and more of them. So let me know. It's something that I've just been thinking of. If you think this is a good idea, well, then that's great. If you don't, well, then let us know why you think this isn't a great idea. I know that, you know, the Idris is a carrier. So why not be able to treat the Banu Merchman as a carrier as well. So it's just a little bit more there for discussion and argument. Um, I mean, like four of these containers across and then you have a tumble cyclone on there as well. And then you've got a person up here for scale. That, that means it's a pretty big elevator pad. Like just even there, but there it doesn't make it look as big. But it does have some sort of um, scalability to it to sort of give you an idea. And I know it doesn't um, sort of go well with people. But I reckon, yeah, it's big enough to fly a ship up in there. It's easy enough. So whether or not, you know, you can f fit a large fighter in there, which I probably, I would doubt it. Maybe. Again, I don't know. But 
I definitely think you'll be able to fit a small fighter in there or a small starter ship and I don't think there's really going to be too much there to stop you from doing that but that's just all in the argument of it so yeah let us know down in the comments I'm really interested to see what everyone thinks about this so we'll leave that at that and we'll sort of move on with these discussions as we move along because this does seem to be something that people are liking and enjoying but I hope you enjoyed this it's been Baron we'll see you in the verse if you have any other ideas for videos like this uh, hit us up in the comments and um, yeah bye bye hope you enjoyed